Okay, Swatis anterior activation. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start lying on the floor. Our knees nicely bent. Your hips, knees, feet in line. And what's a good thing to do while you're doing this is to squeeze your glutes and just draw in at your belly. So bring your belly button in and up. And that's going to stabilise your lumbar spine while you're doing the uh, exercise. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands, my thumbs, okay, and I'm going to rest them on my knees. Importantly now, I'm thinking about my shoulder blades. So I'm going to push my shoulder blades together and down into the floor. So together and then down. So I'm going to depress them down towards my back pocket. Okay, so I squeeze them down, and now with my thumbs leading, I'm going to bring my arms all the way over my head until keeping my elbows straight until my thumbs touch the floor, and then back down again. The whole time I'm thinking about my shoulder blades keeping them into the floor down towards my back pockets. Elbows straight. If you see my elbows bending, it's because I need to work on this myself. Um, but I'll do this for 12 to 20 reps. So I'll go through it again. Just squeeze your glutes, draw in, secure the lower part of your body, have your shoulder blades together and down to stabilize them and keep them fixed. What we don't want to do is have our shoulders lifting or our shoulder blades lifting up. So together and down, arms nice and locked, thumbs to the top, all the way up, elbows nice and straight, touch the floor, all the way back down. Yeah, almost like push your shoulders into the floor as you do it to stabilise. Now if you can do this with straight arms and you're happy, then the next thing you do is you tuck your thumbs into your fists. Perform the same action, shoulders down, and this time elbows nice and straight. You're then getting this part of your hand to the floor, which is actually a lot more demanding than what you would think just watching the video. And you're continuing this progression until you can do 12 to 20 quite comfortably with secure elbows. If you've achieved that, then we're going to go to flat hands. So now what I'm going to want to do, again, glutes draw in, shoulder blades together, down, pushing my shoulders back into the floor. I'm going to bring my hands over, keep my elbows straight all the time. And then get the back of my hands to the floor. Now you can see this will probably be my limit. Because as I got to the end, my lumbar spine rose up, yeah? So I need to concentrate on my drawing in manoeuvre to stop that extension in my lumbar spine. And then back down, so it's the last. It's that, and it's only a small difference between there and there, but it's a big difference you can feel throughout your body. So that's the first three your first three progressions into reactivating your serratus anterior.